Hello everyone, I'm Shivam Sharma and currently I'm pursuing my B.Tech in Computer Science. I'm in my fourth year right now. When placement season initiated, I had maintained a CGP of 8.47. I love to participate in hackathons and have won quite a few. I've also won a national level hackathon conducted by LNT in Mumbai. I have always been very active in co-curricular activities. I was the vice president of Android Club as well as the Vice President of OWASP Student Chapter. I've also published a research paper as well as a patent. Right now, I'm placed in Track Invest and uh, I was offered internship as well as full-time. My uh, compensation is 12 lakhs per annum plus bonus and I'm working there as a full-stack blockchain developer. The application process in BIT happens on the campus interaction platform. It is a really amazing platform as it gives us the chance to review companies before applying for it. It shows the CTC, the job profiles and various information regarding the company that's about to visit or is visiting right now. So <coughs> uh, the company that I got selected in Track Invest, we had four rounds of uh, selection process and uh, more than 1200 people applied and 1200 people got selected in the was shortlisted for getting the first round and uh, me only I was selected for the job the process was very smooth if we had any queries any uh, questions regarding the placement process we would just mail it to the pack and uh, the replies were very quick and uh, it helped us a lot. There were four rounds in the selection process. The first round was an aptitude round. 1200 students were selected for that round. The questions were very similar to the level of GMAT exam. And, uh, we were given the qualitative questions, quantitative questions, as well as the verbal questions. After clearing that round, we were given an assignment. We had to create REST APIs on Node.js. After clearing that, we had a telephonic interview. The telephonic interview was more of a techno HR interview. And we were then uh, passed on to the video interview. In the video interview, they asked us extensive questions on data structures and algorithms, as well as they asked us about our experience in uh, internships as well as our previous projects. So uh, for the preparation, I had studied uh, data structures from lead code and uh, prepared on that. I also read a lot of questions that are asked uh, by any company on Geeks for Geeks. As well as I'm, I was very aware that a lot of companies ask questions regarding your previous projects. So what I do is I jot down concise information about my best projects and uh, I remember them carefully. I also go through them before my interview and when an interview asks me, I, depending on my uh, job role in that uh, company, I select my best project that would give me the most advantage and explain them to and explain it to them very clearly. The strategy depends heavily on the selection process of a company. Some of the companies of the selection process would prefer data structures knowledge whereas some of the companies would prefer core concepts to be very clear. So while wanting to crack an interview of a company, one should do a deep background check what the company and the job profile requires. So uh, for my preparation, I used to study at uh, Lead Code for the data structure practice. And for the interview uh, preparation guide, I used to go to the Geeks for Geeks. 
I used to prepare a lot of topics such as operating system networks which are very essential for an interview and for that I used to refer java t-point.com mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the study materials I used to uh, take notes of everything that I learned so that then before an interview I can have a concise uh, knowledge banks which I can refer to. I also used to uh, watch a lot of YouTube videos, especially Aditya Verma, to uh, enhance my knowledge on uh, dynamic programming as well as advanced data structures. And uh, there are a lot of playlists of Aditya Verma that, uh, that uh, very much focuses on the interview processes of the major companies. And that is going to be a huge help. Take that unfair advantage. As I've been involved in selection process of a lot of companies, I would like to summarize this answer. So uh, most of the questions, most of the coding questions would revolve around basic concepts like OOPs and uh, arrays. Uh, there might be a uh, need of implementing 3D algorithms. Then as the difficulty increases, linked lists are introduced and then trees and in very rare cases, there is need of implementing graphs and in certain uh, cases you might need to uh, use recursion as well as dynamic programming dynamic programming is a very tough concept and mastering it would definitely guarantee you uh, to crack the coding rounds as it is one of the most favorite topics of interviewers also especially amazon and top notch companies so Mastering 3D algorithm, uh, mastering 3D algorithms as well as dynamic programming would definitely increase your chance on cracking the coding rounds of these companies. So for that, I would really uh, advise you to refer to Aditya Verma YouTube channel, and uh, there are playlists of every kind, and you can watch every video, and you will be able to uh, solve a lot of coding rounds. As myself being associated with two technical clubs, I can say that yes, technical clubs do contribute towards your placements. As in the technical clubs, you work with various technologies, you learn new things, you explore new things, and it is basically a community, and you learn from your seniors, you learn from your juniors, and <clears throat> there is no scope of stopping. So yes, if you are sincere in your club activities and uh, your seniors like to teach you, then you would surely uh, get a lot of guidance and uh, non-technical clubs as well as uh, as well as management positions in technical clubs do contribute towards uh, your selection process in companies that come with a non-technical profile such as sometimes they, uh, there are companies that would come with a profile of analyst marketing etc so uh, being in a managing position such as uh, heads or uh, leads so they would help they would definitely help you in the placements and especially on your resume building a resume is an art it's an art of pitching yourself to an interview the resume uh, should be very concise one look at your resume and the interview should know what your potential is in your resume, you should include your achievements, education, background, your positions in clubs, your uh, certifications, and the most important thing, your projects. Displaying your projects in a particular order really gives you an advantage. No one wants to know that you built a library management system on PHP in first year. Every interview would like to know what challenging task, what challenging project you did on the latest technologies that are currently the industry standard. So always keep the projects that you did that even if were small, but what on best technologies and were challenging on top and always be ready with that. Also, one can also follow uh, the choice of making different resumes for different job positions. Like if you're applying for a job role of 
machine learning analyst machine learning associate or something like that so you can always keep skills like uh, tensorflow keras scikit on top and if you're applying for a web development uh, web development software engineer you can always keep your skills such as node.js mongodb react.js on top so this always uh, helps the interviewer prioritize you and this is what sets you apart from the crowd. Your soft skills is one of the major components in an interview. Soft skills training increases your EQ, the emotional intelligence. And many of the interviews you can believe that emotional intelligence is as important as the knowledge that you have. This emotional intelligence uh, gives you the power of getting away in difficult situations that are specially thrown by the interviewer. When the interviewer wants you stuck on a difficult problem, he wants to know if you're not able to solve it, how you would manage that. And that is also what tells you how you will handle your job in pressure, how you would handle your job when there are some different crises. Many of the companies also uh, take special exam, quiz exam, uh, judge your soft skills, judge your, uh, your character. These exams, like especially Amazon, they take a different exam just on uh, getting the morality index of a person. So one should always practice increasing your emotional intelligence by using certain soft skills tricks. And this is what would make you more fluent when answering the questions that are posed by the interview. When the placement season began, uh, we were going through the COVID-19 crisis. It had just started. The stock market was crashing. Most of the companies were backing out. Uh, the, uh, companies were firing their employees and we were really scared. We were really scared that the companies might not come to the college this year and we might stay unemployed. But I'm very happy to say this, that almost everyone that I know is placed. Almost everyone that I know. Almost everyone that I know is placed in at least a dream company and 75% of the people, the friends that I know are placed in super dream company. And I'm really thankful to the VIT placement sir to have made this miracle happen. Even today, there are super dream companies that are coming for placements and I could not believe that. And this is very, this is very big. I'm very thankful the PIT Chennai placement team for handling all these all this process very smoothly and allowing us to display our potential maintaining a CGP is very hard I had maintained the CGP of 8.47 when the placement season initiated one should always be dedicated because they cannot stay motivated always. In my experience, I've learned, I've seen that the people who uh, concentrate on the assignments tend to get better grades. The people who uh, submit assignments before due dates, who do diligent work in their assignments, do get better, good, better grades. As the assignments count of 30% of the total grading uh, criteria, so it helps. Also, you, you need to uh, do good project work. Uh, by good project work, I mean you need to have a good relation with teacher so that when you are telling, when you are displaying your project work, you get good remarks, you get uh, good criticism that allows you to work better on your project. And the end product always get nurtures when you get uh, advice, you get suggestions from your mentor. I have plenty of advices for my juniors who are about to enter the placement season. The first one is, don't be late in mastering the data structures. Data structures is one of the most important components for placements. Many of the students make this mistake and learn this while giving interviews when they are thrown questions of dynamic programming 
and they haven't studied about it. I would suggest you can go to Lead Code. There are amazing playlists on every subject. There are playlists on arrays, linked lists, trees, and in a very systematic format. That would help you a lot. The second advice I would like to give is <coughs> check the company profile. Check what type of company it is before applying for it. Also, there is a thing that uh, you might not be able to apply for a super dream intern if you get selected in dream intern. You might not be able to uh, apply for super dream intern plus placement even if you got selected in dream intern. That would give a disadvantage to many of people. So be very precise of what you want. Go and do a deep check in the company and then apply for it. <coughs> Third advice would be have a project on your resume that is very nice, that is based on industry standards and on the latest technologies that are being wanted by the company. As com most of the companies would not want to spend their resources in training you, they would want that that uh, the new the new hire is already trained. So while you will be having a project that is industry standard that would give you an upper hand because you already are familiar with the technology that the company must be using. That's it. I wish you best of luck with the placements.